Our next part is to start assembling all this. As you can see here, we've got the right base, and that base basically slides up and down right along this linear rail system. And you can see the components that we need right to put in to hold the linear rail system in. We've got the bottom of the slide table. Um, you can see the right the bearing right supports for or the rail system which moves backwards and forwards. We'll now turn that over in a second. Now this centre support we're basically put in as a um, it's just a slip fit for the base surface and that's because these rails are 500 millimetres long and if we push down on this you're actually going to get a bow in the rail as it slides up and down so we're just using this as a centre slide and it just skims over the surface of the base. So, so what we're looking at now is the actual bottom of the base and you can see here that we've got our recess holes put in. What we're going to do now is just put the um, machine screws through here, we'll bring them out and we'll do that on this end and the other end. So what we've got is the right machine screws going through and as you can see um, we've got the machine screw, a spring washer and we've got a fender washer which is the wider washer that we're using and that all fits into the hole just nice and neatly. So all we're doing here is just putting on a washer and on top of the washer we're using a nylox nut and we'll be putting those through for all of them. Now we're not tightening any, anything up at the moment and I'll show you why in a second. We've left all our lines on here and we did that for a reason because we've got a centre line of our baseboard, we've got the centre line of the sliding table and we've also got our, our centre lines for our linear bearing systems. And we left all that on there in case we ever have to pull this apart and then we can re-measure it up again and what I'm talking about is that for the linear bearing system supports We've got a centre line for that and we've got a measurement from the edge of the baseboard. Now because we've got that measurement and we know that the linear rail systems are 8mm in diameter, all we have to do is, is divide that 8 by 2, that gives you 4, and we deduct 4mm off to the edge of the, right, the baseboard and that puts us over the centre line of the block supports. So what we've done here is we've measured from the edge of the rail to the edge of the baseboard and we've got the same same measurement this end as to the back end and we we're just using a small ball plane hammer to tap it in and out. Now we've got this set up, all we need to do is bring this one forward and then that'll line up the distance between right the two um, rail blocks. Now we can just tighten that one up.